This is Nagoya, an industrial city in the central Japanese prefecture of Aichi. This is a town that knows the value of hard work. And so does its football club, the team known as Nagoya Grampus. Taking the name from the whale symbolic of the city of Nagoya, Grampus made a splash in the early years of the J-League by signing the likes of Gary Lineker and Dragan Stojkovic, as well as being managed by the legendary Arsene Wenger. One of the J-League's original 10 clubs, Nagoya picked up their first silverware in 1995 when they won the Emperor's Cup with Wenger in the dugout, before adding another four years later. Things ground to something of a standstill after that though, despite making it to the semi-finals of the League Cup five times in the next nine years with the likes of KSK Honda in the team, Nagoya were unable to add any further silverware to their trophy cabinet. The tide started to turn in 2008 however, Stojkovic, the man they call Pixie in these parts, returned to Nagoya and set about returning the club to its previous heights. His first season in charge ended with Grampus third in the league, while in 2009 the Serbians steered them to a runners-up finish in the Emperor's Cup and into the semi-finals of the AFC Champions League. Their crowning glory came with Stojkovic's manager in 2010, when the tenacious defence led by Marcus Tulio Tanaka and 17 goals from Aussie striker Joshua Kennedy fired Grampus all the way to a historic J1 title. A runners-up finish in the league and another semi-final loss in the League Cup followed in 2011 as the club started to run out of steam. And after Stojkovic's departure, Grampus fell away from the business end of the table and even experienced relegation to the second tier in 2016. That exile only lasted for one year though, and since returning to J1 in 2017, Nagoya have steadily set about reasserting their authority in the first division. They've been aided in that quest by a wealth of talent from overseas, including Australia goalkeeper Mitch Langerak and Brazilian forward Mateus, as well as some of the best local talent in Japan in Yutaki Yoshida, Sho Inagaki and Yojiro Kakatani. Grampus challenged at the summit of the table again to finish third in 2020 and recently managed to end their long silverware drought with a win last season in the 2021 J-League YBC Levain Cup Final. That victory completed Nagoya's domestic trophy haul as they finally lifted the J-League Cup for the first time and the club finished a respectable fifth in the league. There are changes on the horizon this season, including a new manager in the dugout in Kenta Hasegawa, but Grampus are very much a club riding the crest of a wave at the moment. It just remains to be seen how high it will grow or when it will break. ฝากติดตามกด subscribe ช่อง YouTube j l e a g International ด้วยนะครับ Like subscribe get push notifications Like subscribe push notification